Welcome everyone to Powered by Rainbows. I am, of course, your host, Professor Pride. And welcome to our first ever trivia night, where you get to test your own knowledge on LGBTQ topics. All of the info listed in this trivia quiz are things we've discussed on the show in the past. And typically, they will be things we've covered within the past month. That way, it's fresh in your minds. As we're going through, you'll see a question and four possible answers, so they're all multiple choices. Some questions will be easier than others, and while you could pause the video, go back into an older episode to find the answer, and then come back to answer every question correctly, that makes this whole thing less fun for everyone. So try your best, and if you get a question wrong, we'll tell you which episode we talked about that topic in so you can learn more about that topic after you take the full quiz. If you're watching this live, you can comment your answers in the live chat. But if you're watching later on demand, you can comment your answers down below. Anyway, let's get started with this month's trivia night. And let's start off with an easy question. Which of the following pride flags is the original LGBTQ pride flag? Was it A, B, C, or D? The answer, of course, is B. The original LGBTQ pride flag consisted of eight colors. It was designed in 1978 by Gilbert Baker for the San Francisco Gay Freedom Day celebration as a symbol of hope and liberation. To learn more about it and other pride flags, you can check out our episode, Fun with Flags, Pride Flags and What They All Mean, published in June of 2020. Question number two. Without looking, how many LGBTQ holidays are there in a year? A. 12 B. 65 C. 259 D. 365 The answer, of course, is C. 259 to learn more about all of these holidays and to download a complete calendar of holidays, you can check out our episode, 259 LGBTQ Holidays and Calendar. Question number three. Since October 1958, with the debut of the first ever video game, how many video games in history have featured an LGBTQ character? A, 179, B, 397, C, 913, D. 2,405 The answer is A. 179 To learn more about this and to learn more about the 9 of them we highlighted, check out this month's episode of the 9 LGBTQ characters in video games. Question number 4 and time for some history lessons. What was the name of the first ever gayborhood in the world? A. Greenwich Village in New York City, New York, USA. B. Potts Point in Sydney, Australia. C. Soho in London, England. D. Marymount in Boston, Massachusetts, USA. The answer, of course, is D. Marymount. It was created in 1624 by a man named Thomas Morton and about 30 others who wanted a non-Puritan colony in Wollaston, which is present-day Quincy in the Boston, Massachusetts area. To learn more about gayborhoods and gaytrification, you can check out our episode on that topic from this past month. Question number five. What is the most recognizable asexual character on television, according to our recent interview with a spectrum expert Marshall John Blount. A. Sheldon on The Big Bang Theory. B. Todd Chavez on Bojack Horseman. C. Patrick from SpongeBob SquarePants. D. Fizbo on Modern Family. The answer, of course, is B. Todd Chavez. He is one of the most recognizable asexual characters on TV. You can find more info about him and much, much more about aromantic, asexual, and Black Lives Matter education in our recent episode covering Aromantic Spectrum Awareness Week, 
where we interviewed activist and expert Marshall John Blount. Question number six, and here's where we're going to get a bit harder with our questions. Who was the gay man who is single-handedly responsible for winning the American Revolution and is therefore credited with being the true founding father of the United States of America? A. George Washington B. Thomas Jefferson C. Benjamin Franklin D. Frederick von Steuben The answer is D. Baron Friedrich von Steuben. Although George Washington was bisexual, he and Benjamin Franklin hired the Prussian man, Friedrich von Steuben, after he was fired from the Prussian military for being gay. He is credited with organizing American soldiers and winning the war. His codes of conduct and manuals are still in place in today's U.S. military. To learn more about him, you can check out our episode, The Gay Man Who Founded America. Question number seven and time for current events. Which of the following people came out as LGBTQ so far in 2021? A. U2 personality Chris Stockman B. Country music star TJ Osborne C. Online influencer Jojo Siwa D. Powered by Rainbow's host Matt Haslam The answer is actually all of the above. All four of these individuals came out as LGBTQ this year, including myself. And to see my coming out as a gay demisexual man earlier this year, you can see my coming out video coming out again recently on this channel. Question number eight, and this month's Blast from the Past question of the month. Which of the following Pride events has Powered by Rainbows not broadcasted? A. Washington, D.C. B. Allentown, P.A. C. New York, New York. D. Pottsville, PA. The answer, of course, is C. New York, New York. Two years ago, we broadcasted the Allentown, PA Pride event. Last year, we broadcasted footage from Washington, D.C. Capital Pride Festival. And last June, we broadcasted the entire Pottsville, PA Pride event on our channel, all of which are available right now for you to enjoy. Question number nine. In his recent remarks, Senator Rand Paul made horrible transphobic questions to which of the following public figures? Was it A, Dr. Jill Biden, B, Representative Marie Newman, C, Dr. Rachel Levine, D, Senator Charles Schumer? The answer is C, Dr. Rachel Levine, who is one of the most respected doctors in the country and has been nominated as the Assistant Secretary of Health in the United States. And if confirmed, she will be the highest ranking transgender official in the country. To learn more about this, you can check out our recent episode calling on Senator Rand Paul to resign for these terrible actions. The other options included Dr. Jill Biden, who is the First Lady of the United States and a major supporter of the LGBTQ community. Representative Marie Newman, whose daughter is transgender and who flew a transgender pride flag outside of her office earlier this week. And Senator Charles Schumer, whose daughter is gay and is a proud supporter of the LGBTQ Equality Act. And finally this month, question number 10, which we will hopefully always be able to use as a question to hint towards something we're going to cover in next month's episodes. This month's pre-broadcast question is, what percentage of bisexual people are out of the closet to someone they know? Is it A, 28%, B, 54%, C, 71%, or D, 77%? answer is A, 28%. The other options are the numbers of other parts of our community. 54% of the overall LGBTQ are out of the closet to anyone they know. 
71% of lesbians, 77% of gay men, but bisexuals are standing at only 28% of them being out of the closet to anyone they know because of something called bisexual double discrimination, which is something we will cover in next month's episode inside of Bisexual Health Awareness Month. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us for this February trivia night, and stay tuned for weekly episodes of Powered by Rainbows. If you like this content, please consider becoming a member of this channel so you can see exclusive behind-the-scenes content and bloopers, as well as support the channel, make even more episodes in the future. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below your LGBTQ-friendly thoughts, hit that rainbow subscribe button so you don't miss out on new episodes of the show, and share this video with others. As always, I'm your host, Professor Pride, Matt Haslam, and have a gay day, everyone. Bye for now. Still not enough rainbows? Click here to see more weekly episodes of Powered by Rainbows, Semester 4, only on MHPTV.